Hi, today I'm going to start a new series. So as part of this series, we'll try to implement some scenarios and use cases using what we have learned in past one year. This will be a completely scenario implementation based series and I will run this series along with currently running other series. So as I said, this will be a implementation based series and I'll have a separate project and separate repo for this so that you don't confuse with existing repo conceptual tutorials repo will implement some component as well as part of this because I will start with a high level scenario and then we'll keep enhancing that scenario and we'll try to fit all what we have learned in that scenario sometimes you guys requested something so if I see that is worth for everyone then I'll try to implement as part of this series so I will start this series with a high level scenario. So let's understand that. So we have a form and obviously we'll have all the backend things like Sling model, servlet services, OSGA configuration and context aware configuration. In this form, we have a user's information means I will add a author information, let's say author or a writer, and then we'll save that information in form of notes in the repository. Then we have a component where we have a table and we'll display this information in form of table so this is the high level but in real scenarios you can have different site for different countries so we'll store that information in respective country site let's say i'm just storing that information along with the content of a particular country so if this form is used in us sites that information will be stored in us site in this format let's say in us it will be US author under which I'll create a one node for each author's information. And then we'll display that information in form of table. Now let's understand. Let's say I have information in nodes and I want to display that information in table. So I have to display that information table in author and publish. So I will iterate that node one by one and then put that information in component using Sightly and backend services, selling model, whatever we have. But let's understand when you have 100k nodes, iterating those nodes is a time taking. So there is a performance degradation if you display. So on publish environment, rather iterating that information when every time you display uh, that information over component, just avoiding the cached as of now. I'm not talking about the cache. So what we can do, we create a JSON and using this JSON display or show that information on publish environment. Okay, so what we'll do on author will display from the nodes and from publish will display from the JSON. This JSON will be created, you know, using the nodes information. So we'll have the same information in the JSON as well. Okay, so in that case on publish environment, you do not need to iterate the repository every time. You just have one JSON and you can cache it. Okay, so that in that way it will be performance enhancement. But now question is how will you create that JSON? Let's say you are adding the author's information, uh, and then you have to update the JSON as well. So what we'll do? We'll have a scheduler, and we'll run that scheduler at a particular time. Let's say we'll run this scheduler every two hours of interval and we'll keep updating this JSON, okay? But let's say I ran that scheduler and after that, I added a information. So that information will be available only after two hour on publish environment. An author, obviously it will be available from an author. I'm just iterating the nodes, but because the JSON is not updated. So for that, what we'll do, that, that's a drawback. So what I'll do, I'll write the event handler and along with the uh, this scheduler, as soon as a node is added, let's say you submit form and node is added for new author. So as soon as the author is added, we'll run a event handler and then this event handler also uh, update this JSON. Okay. So this is a very high level scenario. We'll 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 have a tutorial which actually explain each section in detail and we'll try to implement. So let's say right now I'm storing that information in form of node. Tomorrow I can make a 
REST call and I can save that information at somewhere else at the third party. So I'll make a call at third party and I you know, export that author's information to that place at the third party. And I can, I can uh, display that information from the third party itself. So we'll, we'll in, keep enhancing it. We'll try to implement, we we'll try to use the modules, you know, uh, in this scenario, let's say we, we try to fit context aware configuration inside this. We'll see how we can do that. We try to fit event handlers. We'll try to fit the rest calls, edgex calls. So we'll see a lot of things like to, the, we'll try to implement the table components, the charts, this thing, or we keep enhancing this use case or the scenario. This is at very high level. This was just an introduction. So if you have to follow this, you can start from scratch because this is a completely new repo and new project and new use case. So you will learn how you can fit your knowledge in a particular scenario. So I will cover multiple subtopics in each tutorial. Whole information cannot be written in tutorial title. So I will write that information in description. So for more information, please check the description once for each tutorial.